Hi everyone, we're at Eat With Fingers. We're going vegan. It is the number one vegan restaurant in Mauritius. Let's go check it out. And then there's this. The Beyond Burger. Beyond Meat. Never that, tried it. That just says no soy. <laughs> How cool is this? It actually is really, really nice in here. You've got, got some plants and the mirror and, and, and some place to actually read the book. So if you take a book and you sit in and you read it, you got a spot here. But there are also tables and chairs. There's another sitting zone here. But here's the counter. You've got yourself a menu here. And on the wall there, so you can see some pictures. What is that? that that's like the... the Blue banana smoothie bowl. Is this a smoothie bowl? I didn't notice. I didn't even see it. <laughs> ah, otherwise I would have. Because it is pretty cool. <laughs> This is actually a lasagna right in the front, so you can see it. Oh, look at it. Oh, wow, that's actual lasagna. Some say lasagna. No, how do you make lasagna without meat? Oh, it looks lovely. We got invited backstage. Shh. Well, he actually knows we can. <laughs> but anyway, so this is our area where he's going to make the specific stuff for us. These are cauliflowers that have been soaking for 17 weeks in uh, special yeah, herbs and spices. <laughs> Here we go with the cauliflower. Okay. It and then it goes into a special powder. Oh yes, of course, because they're wings. These are wings now. They are no longer cauliflowers. They have stopped being cauliflowers. They are becoming wings. And here we go. In we go. Oh, look at that fizzing. Awesome. It smells delicious. And this is Michael doing all these things. He's the owner. <laughs> owner and chef. Owner and chef. So have a look at them. They're actually starting to get golden. Oh, wow. Those are great. So, yeah, there's this. Apparently this isn't meat. I don't know, it, it looks like meat. It looks like meat. We're gonna see how to see how it tastes. Ooh, listen to that. Wow. It actually does it just like meat. Well, I suppose anything with water is gonna bubble a little bit. <laughs> well, looking pretty good, guys. We said to him we don't want a whole burger, we don't want it disguised, we want to actually just try that. Yeah, so remember this is a tiny little portion of what a big burger would look like. <laughs> and this is Chris, also Hello. vegan. <laughs> also a chef. Kind of. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> She's very modest. Into it. Very modest and very shy. <laughs> oh, yeah. And they're going into a proper like little wing basket. Ooh, with some sort of sauce that looks like a sweet chili sauce. Yum. This is a really cool feature of the, the kitchen. <laughs> There's no window. <laughs> These are the cauliflower wings. And you might have noticed that I mentioned them in this video where I said I was 75% vegan. It looks like crispy chicken. <laughs> Beyond burger. <laughs> we'll get to that. Mm -hmm. No, this is what we really came for. Mm -hmm. Look at them, they smell so good. They really do. They do, and they look great. Oh man, they look they look just like wings. I mean, genuinely. I'm, I'm going for it, guys. Go for it. Dip it in the chili sauce. Mm. Oh wow. Mmm. How's that cauliflower? Mmm. No. <laughs> oh wow. This is as surprised as I'm ever going to be. <laughs> I tell you what, it tastes like a chicken wing, but there's no bone in it. Like a boneless chicken wing? Exactly. Wow. I've got to try, I've got to try. No, 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 they only give us four. <laughs> Here we go, Ricky trying her cauliflower wings. Oh, she's pulled in half like you do with the... Oh, yeah, wow. Mmm. Uh -huh. I know! It's like, how did he do that? Mm -mm. It's like witchcraft. I reckon there are chicken in that. Mm -hmm. I don't think that can possibly just be cauliflower <laughs> no. by itself. It's so savory. It really is. It's like mm. properly savory. Hmm. Are you going to try guess what the ingredients are? <laughs> Not a chance. <laughs> You know what's really great about this? Have a look at the size of that. Right? Mm -hmm. If this was a chicken wing, you wouldn't be able to do this. Because it has bones. Because it has bones, you slather it up with a bit of sauce and mm -hmm. stuff it in your mouth. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Those are great. Seriously, guys. It is cool art on the walls, and also the, the concrete floor and the wooden furniture. 
but it matches so well with this like industrial feel. Instagrammable places, how awesome is that? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> and it's so cool. All you need is a friend to hold the camera for you. <laughs> ah, Ricky's famous bathroom tour. There you go. So you've got a sink, easily accessible to wash your hands. And we have a bath really cool, following the same industrial theme. Nice. Now I'm just admiring the sink. Yeah, it's made out of concrete. It's, it's awesome. It's so cool. I love this rustic concrete stuff they're yeah, starting to make now. Get your nose in there, that is chocolate brownies and they smell so good. So Michael back there just asked Ricky, would you like a chocolate brownie? And she said, no, of course she said yes. <laughs> Here we go, this, this takes skill to actually prepare the chocolate brownies. Oh no, he's just serving them. The skill was happened earlier. <laughs> Here we go. Lucky Ricky. No, it's two forks. It's a vegan. Oh, they're two forks. That means mm -hmm. I'm allowed. Chocolate brownie. Vegan chocolate brownie. Because I got to try the best wings in the world, Ricky gets to try the brownie first. Texture looks good. What's the cut like? Oh, soft. It's soft. Ooh. It looks gooey, sticky, like a good, slightly undercooked mm. brownie should. Gooey bits. Oh, wow. And remember, it's vegan. You can't put cream or... Yeah. Let us know. <laughs> Just pop oh. it in. There's a chocolatey. <laughs> That's it. She's died and gone to heaven. There we are. Wake her up when September comes. I oh, know we're in October now. <laughs> mm. Here we go. I get to try the brownie as well. Oh, yeah. It's got a nice crunchy top. The rest is gooey, sticky. Dance. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Like stick to your mouth chocolatey goodness. <laughs> Cannot believe that's vegan. Oh, yeah, the wow, gooey bits man. oozing out. Oh man. Mm. And I know a lot of you guys are fasting for Diwali and then you have to only eat vegetarian. So this is on the menu. You can come and eat this as a dessert. This is really, really good. It really is rich and um, wow, it is definitely Death by brownie, not chocolate uh. brownie, <laughs> vegan brownie. Wow, that yeah. is awesome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you want to see us trying more interesting foods in Mauritius, subscribe. Thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So you've got a pretty interesting menu. Desserts, those sound amazing. Like vegan waffles, remember it's all vegan. Snacks. Oh, and then your lunch options. Oh, okay, so that Beyond Burger is three ninety. No, but and, and stuff you've never heard of. It's like I don't actually know what you're talking about. <laughs> Pineapple beet smoothie. I understand that. A lot of restaurants in Mauritius are closed on Monday. Not even with fingers. What is this going to be? Um, that's the creamy chickpea cauliflower curry. Ooh, creamy chickpea cauliflower curry. Wow, that's actually a mouthful. That looks a little bit like, what is that, peanut butter? Peanut butter, yes. A little bit of peanut butter. Mixing in. And in with the chickpeas. Those are chickpeas, right? <laughs> Green pepper. Oh man, this is gonna be so good. I can actually smell it as well, it's like, all the food in here really smells good while it's cooking. This is the glamorous part of the kitchen, washing the dishes. <laughs> and because we were looking at the glamorous bit, we missed the cauliflower going in. But there we are, a little bit of cauliflower. And in with the cream, except this is vegan, so it's not actually cream. It's coconut, this, coconut cream. It's coconut cream, that's the secret, that's the secret why it tastes so creamy. We figured it out. Okay, now I can open my vegan restaurant. Thanks for the tips. <laughs> I have to say, this is a really nice wooden spoon. Wow. Yeah, I'll leave it alone. Don't want to destroy it. For those who know that white stuff is quinoa, quinoa, something like that. Somehow this is going to turn into a Thai coconut soup. Now we laugh. 
because now that is a creamy chickpea cauliflower curry. Wow, the four C's. It is boiling down so beautifully. It's actually starting to thicken up. And the smell of curry is really good. This awesome looking stuff is actually just rice. But it's black rice. It's actually purple rice. That's a little bit of tofu getting fried up. This is the plating. I'm trying not to disturb them. But how awesome does that look? Oh. Wow. Oh man, the Four Seas curry is awesome. And this is the Thai something something something. Coconut Thai soup. Coconut Thai soup. Oh, and it's so misty. It actually looks really nice. And there we are. So there the tofu goes in there. So there we are. Thai soup with tofu. Doesn't it look beautiful? And of course, look at how beautiful this looks. This is the, the Four C's, the creamed chickpea uh, cauliflower curry <laughs> with black rice and, and salad. And this is the Thai soup, creamed Thai soup with tofu. Awesome. Right, so we're up here in the north, Grand Bay. Right in between Super U and La Cosette. On 20 foot road. There's a bar area. Oh, it's Black Point. Awesome. So you can do the whole Seattle coffee shop and bring your laptop uh, <laughs> and all do your blog. Blog. <laughs> blog from here. And there's Wi Fi. Yeah. <laughs> Grab yourself a chair, Rick. <laughs> Proper solid chairs. <laughs> the reason these are so weak. They are really weighty. <laughs> but the reason that they are weighty is because they're all handmade. And made of steel. Made of steel. Girders from Scotland. <laughs> it was a video. That was Ricky tricking Michael into pretending it was just a, a <laughs> selfie, but it was actually the video one like she always does to me. <laughs> Even with vegan food, Ricky's gonna take a million photos while I'm dying of starvation here. Elephant in the room. I'm gonna cut it because okay. I want to see. I want to see. Oh, it looks juicy. That uh, that cuts nice. How is it on the inside? Um, Let me just focus on that. Um, actually, I smell. I smell meat coming out now. <laughs> when you cut it, it actually, and it's a little bit juicy. Look, it's a lot juicy. Oh, Ricky, the expert, will let us know. Does it or doesn't it taste like meat? Um, I think you're going to be very surprised. In a, in a good way or in a bad way? A good way. That is, that is weird. <laughs> I'm like, no, that is... <laughs> that, here we go, the beyond, beyond meat. I want to see your face. Mm. You're confused. You kind of want to drop it as well because you, you it's witchcraft. <laughs> the taste is not, it's a little bit beefy, but it's not like beef, but it's yummy. Maybe a little bit beef cross lamb cross something. I'd say if I had to give up meat, I'd be happy if I had that. Oh, completely. Wow, I wonder what's like with the dipping sauce. Oh, look at it. Look at that texture. That's what does it, is that texture. Really tastes like a minced meat and it's juicy. And I was expecting the taste to be a bit funky, but it's not. It's so yum. Okay, completely forgot to talk about these sauces. Because you assume, ah oh yeah, some sort of mayo-based or cream-based or yogurt-based. No, no, they're also vegan. Taste into my mouth from that one. I thought it was cream. You were forgetting about the whole place it, being vegan. It is. So what's this one? Ricky going all saucy on it. Mm. Uh, oh, and you put it, you're making like a little lettuce taco. <laughs> mm. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. There we are. Look at that creaminess. Mm. I mean, it is surprisingly creamy, eh? Mm. Mm hmm. Remarkable.
this is a very confusing place. I understand. The lettuce. I understand the lettuce. <laughs> That's vegan, for sure. The, the meat two. tastes like meat and the cream tastes like cream. I don't, ah. I don't know what's in those. Oh, wow. Beyond. This is actually the Beyond Burger. You can get it here for $3.90 with some fries. But I tell you what, it was surprising. It actually, it, it shocked me at how good it was. It's actually a burger I would come and eat again. And I know that it's good for me. Good for me. It's healthier. <laughs> Better for the planet. Yeah, eat with fingers. Beyond Burger. You guys have to try it. Oh wow, we just literally found out this second that Eat With Fingers is nominated for the Mauritian Award. Reward. <laughs> the Mauritian Award for Best Vegetarian Restaurant. In Mauritius. Vegetarian, not vegan. Vegetarian. Wow. Well done. Congratulations. And of course they're going to win. That food was epic. Blackfire is giving you guys the recipe. He doesn't even <laughs> know what he's talking about. <laughs> and this is where the waffle comes from. I think that is the ingredients for the waffle and that's the waffle maker. Here we go with a waffle and a waffle, a round waffle maker. The secrets in the batter, oh, the secrets in the batter, the machine. Well, that's just a machine. Here we go, opening, oh, and doesn't it look beautiful? It's like one of those handmade ones because it's got the edges. And use the sharp knife to cut it into quarters. Oh wait, no, those are the scissors. Oh, look at this, look, fingers are made for being burnt. The thing must be so hot. Oh, now we're getting, now we're getting fruited. Some banana. I'm good at guessing fruits. Blackberries. Blueberries. Blueberries. And this is chocolate sauce. Chocolate sauce. Oh, wow, chocolate sauce. I thought for sure he's going to go, no, no, it's a blueberry or something healthy sauce. But it is, it's got healthy <laughs> chocolate on it. Chocolate's plant-based. And look at that, it even gets a little piece of ice cream. And it's not actually cream, it's, it's like a sorbet. Vegan! Vegan ice cream. You actually get vegan ice cream now. Something else I haven't tried. No. Michael actually carried out for us through the airlock. <laughs> oh, thank you. There we so go. Gorgeous. That is the most beautiful pudding <laughs> I've seen in so long. It's breakfast, if you don't it's mind. Oh, this is breakfast. This is actually breakfast, everyone. Thanks. So, if you're looking for a healthy, completely vegan breakfast, Eat with fingers is open in the morning. I would not be complaining if that was my breakfast. Uh -uh. Well, this is the, 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 the pancake, but it's the ice cream that we really want to try. Mm. Is it ice cream? Mm. Or is it a sorbet? It's a sorbet, but it's like lemony and fresh and wow, mm, wow. vegan. Right, so if you're looking forward to a delicious vegan waffle or health bowl or any one of those gorgeous breakfasts they're open at 8 every day except Sunday open at 10 yeah. mm. banana mm. blueberry and ice cream combination but it's really not overly sweet it's quite mm. healthy I remember these are vegan vegan so yes no egg or anything Yep, you always know it's good when your fingers look like that. The KFC of waffles. Finger looking good. <laughs> breakfast waffle. Breakfast waffle. And also, it can be a breakfast waffle because it's covered in fruit and it's really not sweet. And we're American now, so. Yeah, yeah. Breakfast waffles, everybody. Breakfast waffles. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> eat with fingers. Eat with fingers. It is eat with fingers. It's called eat with fingers. And it would be a shame uh, if we weren't eating with our fingers. I think we've done everything with our fingers. Mm -hmm. That was actually really great vegan food. Michael, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you for your visit. Thanks, Michael. Bye. Bye. We only came to try a few of the things that didn't intrigue us, but there are so many. Check out the Facebook page below. He puts all his pictures there and they look epic. And I wish, I wish we had more space in our bellies for it. Well, anyway, everyone, from Eat With Fingers, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.